Hey guys, just wanted to show you this real quick because uh, I need some people that are smarter than me, especially with command line codes. Um, if you guys didn't know, just just like uh, in Steam, if you if you go into the uh, the Epic Store, you know you you it's it's in your uh, your taskbar. Um, I'm, I'm in portrait mode because that's the only way you can really play the new FX right now and, and kind of have a, a decent, you know, uh, experience. But in in the uh, Epic Store, if you click on your initial, right, and then you go to settings and scroll all the way to the bottom, You'll see whatever games you have installed. I have Pinball FX. You click on that, and then you could add additional command line arguments. You click on that, and yeah, you can see I, I tried, you know, dash rotate 90, uh, dash, yeah, you know, I tried every single uh, Unreal Engine uh, 3. And four command lines that I that I could think of. Uh, you can Google them. Um, that's the engine. So I mean, you could skip like uh, you can you can you could turn it to offline mode, stuff like that. There's a lot of things you could do if you didn't know that you could do with command line arguments besides uh, just rotating the screen. But uh, yeah, I couldn't get it to rotate anyway. Um, but I'm sure there's somebody out there that's way smarter than me that can figure something out um, as far as skipping the uh, the whole, you know, like going into your game room and it logging on and, and stuff like that. Because if we want to add our tables to Popper um, by themselves, Right, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do that anyway. Like you know what I mean? Like so. Um, so <clears throat> right now I uh, you know the controls all work. Everything everything works. Uh, the tables all work. Stuff. It's just that uh, in portrait. You you'll you'll get this like even when you even if you go into uh, manual to to try and change the uh, Let's go. I mean I think this is a pretty good uh, this is a pretty good setup right here. I mean, I, I could easily uh, set it up so the solenoids and stuff go off. You know, it has the fake, the fake mechanical noises on right. I have it on right now. Usually, we turn that off so that you hear just the, the regular solenoids. But you know, just with the uh, exciters and stuff, it's, it's shaking. It's it's like built into the game. You know, it is under. Unreal Engine 4 game. And just so you can see, so you can see that, uh, like, it's, it's, thought, it's, it's doing the whole table. So, here's my, see what I'm saying? So, you know, everything works. There's your nudge, flippers. Flippers are a lot better than, uh, uh, what do you call it, than the uh, Xbox controller. I was way, be way behind. I was like, so it's like any kind of lag or whatever that people talk about that's 
no longer an issue. Well, if you play like this, this. now to me, this is a, a fine uh, setup. I mean, it it fits the screen fine. Great. I would like it down a little bit. You know what I mean? But. But you really don't, I mean, you could, if you, I mean, we want, obviously we want, uh, the real, uh, you know, the real version, uh, but for now, everything works, you know, you, you, so you can, you can pick the screens, all your buttons work, uh, you just gotta map them just like normal. I have my Y as my enter, just like, as my, uh. My plungers enter just because, uh, you know, in in, uh, in FX games you have like different wizard modes and stuff. So, so, um, let me see if it. I don't know if I. I don't think I mapped a quit a quit button. <laughs> you, you just hit the. You gotta just hit the, put the pause button on your, uh, actually, I wonder, ah, I can change the views, hold on. So, I'm, ch I'm changing the views just with the mouse. I was on one. I can't use one, one W, it doesn't work anymore. It's too, uh, like, too much, like, in your face. Man, this is the manual view that you have to, you have to actually get out and you set up. But what was I? I was on zero? I think this is zero. Yeah, zero's not good. One. So this is one. Not one, not one wide. Uh, one wide is to uh, it goes to like the desk because it's this is technically a desktop setup. Don't forget. So uh, when you go to one one wide, that's the one I used to like. It, it puts you this way. So we go back to one. So view one gives you basically a real yeah it's it's basically like a uh, a cabinet view so let me try and load a different uh, game where's my medieval madness I mean, this looks good to me, man. <laughs> of course, we went to that, that, uh, that side. I mean, the exciters and everything are working. Like, like they should. <laughs> and I didn't even adjust them or not. You know, uh, you put the, the solenoids at least on the flippers if you want. That's easy to do. But uh, so if anyone wants to play, uh, if you got FX, Pinball FX, I'm sorry. I gotta keep getting used to saying that. Um, for now, if you want to play it on your cabinet and have it fit in a, a what I would consider a, a perfect fit, you know, as far as playing uh, top down, you know, it still looks 3D. It looks just like the other uh, the other versions. You just gotta set your monitor to uh, portrait mode. Let me just exit. <clears throat> the 
It does help to have a joystick. <laughs> I have a mouse anyway, but uh, see, I'm in portrait mode. So, uh, I mean, all you have to do is, it's, yeah, it's a pain. We can't run it out of popper. Uh, what am I doing? Um, You know, we definitely we want to run it out of out of our our builds, but uh, for right now, you know, this is all we have right now. If you want to play it and you know play it on your actual pinball table instead of sitting at a TV and get to use your controls and stuff, uh, you just gotta you know right click. You know, display settings, you know how to do it. Make sure you're on, you're clicking on your actual play field. If you don't know what it is, uh, you just hit identify, it'll tell you what it is. And, and just change the display orientation from landscape to portrait. And that's it. You d don't touch anything else. Yeah, right, you're not messing with popper. You're not, uh, you know, nothing, nothing like that. I, here's my, look, I, this is my popper. Works perfect. So you, you didn't do anything. Just so I mean, in case any of you guys uh, were scared that maybe that would do something. It does nothing. You're just, you're just going in and you're, you just got to play your pinball effect separate for now until we can get it into the popper. All right, so uh, well, have fun, and uh, hopefully somebody, like I said, smarter than me, can maybe you can come up with a command line, uh, command line argument that would just spin it for us, so we don't have to change uh, changes to portrait. <laughs> but uh, so yeah, that's how close we are. In case they try and pull that, they want us to pay for cavern mode. So, uh, yeah, if anyone could uh, figure that out, that'll help. But until they do, uh, all you have to do is uh, is switch to portrait mode and pick. You can pick whatever the camera uh, you, you know level you want. But you see, ca camera number one. Uh, seemed it looked the best to me. It looked, it looked, uh, it looked perfect. I used to always use one W, and you can't use that in this mode because, like I showed you in the beginning of the video, uh, it's it's you're, you're in a desktop, uh, you're in a desktop actual setup, so you can't use uh, you can't use one W for now. But uh, one looks great. So any guys that want to play, that's how you do it. All right? Have fun, guys. Talk to you later.